Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the gaming channel. We have some more Gotham Knights gameplay. This time, we're getting two high level Red Hood builds. All right, without further ado, let's just get into it. Gotham Knights may have four characters to choose from, but in truth, there are dozens of ways to make them fit your chosen playstyle. In this video, we're going to show you just this, with gameplay of two completely different high level Red Hood builds. We made the decision the Gotham Knights collectively were working together and they, they were reflecting this notion of the Bat family. So our Red Hood, we wanted him to be aligned with the intentions of the rest of the family in that sense. He's still an angrier person, especially. So he's not going to kill. I remember I said that in the last video, Red Hood is like the Punisher of DC, but he kills people. But. If he's working with the God, you know, he's working with the rest of the Bat family, Nightwing and them, they're not going to allow him to kill anybody. So he's probably using non-lethal weapons. Especially at the start of the story. But we wanted them all to be on board with the general notion that we are in walking the path of Batman after his death. All of them are on board with the non-lethal strategy. What so I said, the Marshman Tree see? is kind of self-explanatory. It's really about dealing more damage at range. Red Hood is our most range-focused character out of okay. the Gotham Knights. So a lot of his abilities focus on, I have guns with non-lethal rounds, and I would like to make them as damaging as possible while Without remaining non-lethal. <laughs> Yo, guys, I want to play this game so bad right now. I remember when I first seen it, I'm like, eh, now it's just like, nah, I want to play now, bro. Like, I'm tired of looking at these videos. I just want to play this shit, bro. This shit look lit now. So this is a marksman build. Ooh. That was fire. Why is there two red hoods though? I'm confused. It's like a decoy. I know that one hurt. Yo, I want to play this just so bad. There. That's it. This is it. That's how that works. That they wish they So had this is two day. players like The brawler skill tree is about melee combat, but more importantly, it's about powering up the fact that Red Hood is our largest character, and he's got the best grab and throw mechanics in Gotham Knights. That's a really, you know, sort of brutal hand-to-hand -hand focused skill tree. So I think that would be the skill tree that I focus on more. Like I want to focus on the combat hand-to-hand. -hand. Yes, I know he uses guns, but like, I want the guns to complement the hand-to-hand the -hand stuff. I don't want it to be the main focus of his gameplay. So if you're into that style of play, it's a great place to invest early. Gun fool, man. His right. John Wick shit. I hope that you guys can upgrade the vehicles, too. Like, in Arkham Knight, you can upgrade the Batmobile. Maybe they won't do that, but... And I also hope that the bikes are like fun to use and not like, you know, hard to turn and shit like that. It's a bike. You should be able to maneuver on that shit smoothly. Ooh, I like that. What would have been dope too, if you jump off the vehicle and then you can start shooting, like you jump off and aim and shoot at them in the, in the air, that would have been fine. Taking your business elsewhere. God damn, that bitch is big. That's a big bitch. <laughs> Pardon the language. Hey, look, more scumbag looking for a beat. Damn. Guess I really pissed them off. I'll tell you what though, the, the combat and gameplay looks way more sophisticated than the Marvel game, the Avengers game. 
I own that game. I beat it. I liked the game, but I felt like it was too repetitive and everything was always the same. Every level do the same shit. I'm hoping that this game doesn't fall into that same pattern. Like find like as the more you progress in the game, I want more of the, the gameplay to progress the combat, unlocking new things to do. You know, that that worries me if, if, if they don't do that. But if it progresses, you know, the gameplay, everything throughout the whole game, then, yeah, this is going to be a good game. Hmm. I'm confused. Why are there two red hoods, though? That's somebody else playing, right? That was just a taste of the different ways you can build out your chosen hero in Gotham Knights. Stay tuned later this week, where we'll be digging into skill trees and how they work. For more from our Gotham Knights IGM first, check out the first 16 minutes of gameplay, or how the developers built their Gotham City on 400 years of history. Aye, man, that looks really dope. I am buying this game. I'm going to check out the next video about the skill trees too. So if you guys want to watch that, make sure you're subscribed. But um, I think the first person I'm going to play with though is Nightwing. That's an automatic. I would say Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, and then Robin last. <laughs> but I will play all four characters and beat the game with all four of them. Because I want to see all the stories, you know. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. It's your boy Dollars. Mahalo.